It's Suze. You're joining me on a very cold, snowy February evening. The van is completely covered in snow. Um, and we had no snow this year, like none at all. We kind of thought we were out of the woods, like we just weren't going to get a winter, but we, we kind of got one anyways. Mikey is going to attempt to actually sleep in the van tonight. Let's go check it out. <laughs> I wonder if he's asleep or something. It's totally dark in here. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Sleeping. Hey! Hello. <laughs> okay, so we're inside the van. Um, Mikey has actually closed off this front section here. Uh, these are usually our closet doors, uh, but when it is cold, we can close off this entire section. Uh, kitchen is through there and bathroom is through there to actually keep the heat in, which is a awesome feature. <laughs> Welcome to my cave. <laughs> I feel like a bear. Shagging wagon. <laughs> Tell me about the Reflectix. Yeah, it, it just stays right in there. That's fantastic. I... Mike, you cut these out today. Yeah, you just stuffed those in there, got them the right size, and don't push on. Oh, oh, oops. Last time I tried this with just an electric heater, I didn't have any. Well, I had Reflectix, but I just duct taped it on, and there was just such a bad draft. Like I, my ears were getting cold and my nose was getting cold. But with this, I was sitting with my head by the window and I didn't even notice a draft. We have our actual heater fixed. Oh, <laughs> it's right in there. Which is actually kind of nice because my butt is super warm. Like my yeah, back. I'm sitting here and I can feel it's it's really warm under here because I'm I'm like literally sitting on the furnace. But, ooh, it's warm. I think this is gonna be my side of the bed. Uh. <laughs> so how cold does it say it's gonna be? 14. 14? It's gonna be really cold. So I'm testing it out. The whole point of this is to test out like worst case scenario with our baby. I've tried this once before when it was 19 without the furnace and just a plug-in heater and uh, it was uncomfortable. Like it would have been, I mean, we would have lived, but it was very uncomfortable. Do you think the snow is actually insulating yeah. it on top? Yeah. They teach you to build shelters out of snow because of that reason. Are you scared? Very. <laughs> Are you afraid of the abominable snowman? Actually, that reminds me, I probably do want to lock the doors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you gonna be all right? I don't know. That's why we're doing this. <laughs> okay. I mean, I hope so. I hope so too. No fun. I forgot to eat dinner. <laughs> Show us your beatboxing. Good morning, friends. It's 6.30 in the morning, and Mikey is at least not on this side of the house. Mikey 
he did say that he should probably lock up the van. Um, but I'm saying there's a 90% chance he didn't do that, unless he's like really paranoid, because once he's in bed, not much can get him out of bed. <laughs> if it's been frozen shut or if he actually came and locked it. Good morning. Well, this was strictly a temperature test, so it went well. It was definitely warm enough. Uh, thinking of having a toddler in here, doable. Uh, especially if he's on the side where the heater is housed because that little panel just stays roasty toasty. The down comforter was a win. I was wearing leggings, shorts, a shirt, and a sweatshirt. And I probably could have just slept in my undies with the down comforter. So no issues with temperature. I think it would be totally fine. Better than camping, but not as comfortable as your home. So if you're gonna live in a van uh, and do heating, just know you will not be as comfortable. But you'll probably get used to it. Well, you'll for sure get used to it. Hello? Oh, something's shaking the van. Hopefully it's my wife. We'll find out in a minute if I'm not dead. Good morning! Room service! There's movement. I can't hear you very well. Okay, he's coming to unlock it. He did lock it. So? A couple of problems. I'm plugged into the outlet at my parents' house. Yeah. So, I don't think our battery, well, I'm positive that our battery won't run the furnace that long. Okay. Every night, it will die. So that's a problem we'll need to find a solution for. I know there's batteries out there that could do it. I just have to do the research. We'll keep you updated with our mods to make it winter ready. <laughs> Were you cozy? No. At one point I was sweating. So not a, you know, super restful night of sleep. Not a restful night of sleep at all. I was up every couple hours or every hour or something. Okay. But that's because I'm not used to the fan noise. Yeah. I had nightmares of people breaking in and coming. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. <laughs> I think give you know do it for a week and I'd probably be sleeping through the night. Next test will be seeing if we can keep the heater running all night long, not connected to power, electricity hookup, so just running on the battery. Should we go inside? Oh! The hero emerges. Going in. <laughs> well, that was a successful experiment. Do you guys have any questions about how to, um, how to insulate your van better or what we've done to uh, get our heater, which is an old heater, it smelled really bad when we first tried using it, like you just burning dust. If you have any questions, uh, drop us a comment and be sure to subscribe so you can follow along with our National Park Adventure. And we will see you next time.